could you share with us the difference between cranial techniques and your brain therapy curriculum? Yes, sure. I loved the cranial technique and learning um, the rhythm, the cranial rhythm, and all the technique from uh, William Garner Sutherland. And he uh, started to get inspired to work on the cranium around 1900, 1901. He took a long time to publish. He wrote his book, The Cranial Ball, in 1939. And I think he started to teach much later in the 40s, 1944, mm -hmm. with his two weeks class. And at the beginning, a lot of cranial uh, practitioners were quite mechanical and worked mainly or only on the um, bones and the membrane, even though Sutherland mentioned the uh, motility of the neural tube, the brain and spinal cord. So some people still do cranial like that, very mechanical, and they really stay on the bone and, and the membranes. And later on, you know, around the 50s, just around that, Sutherland talked about liquid light and more advanced concept. Now, we have to remember a lot of those concepts have most probably been influenced by Swedenborg, the polymath, wonderful, uh, wonderful concept there. So um, what I did is I looked at it as an osteopath and looked at all the structure of the brain and tried to find the dominant lesion. And if you want to do that, you have to learn first how to work with the bones of the cranium, intra and interosseous, and we have a class for that called FAR, Fluid Articular Release. It's a very gentle way to release sutures of the cranium and bones of the uh, spinal column. Then more uh, inside, we have to work with the membranes, and we have another specific class called BACM, Brain Advanced Cranial Meninges, and I think we have 25, 28 labs, and we work on this membrane from so many directions and trying to uh, feel their tension there um, through the bones of the cranium. And then something also a little bit different, we have three levels for the fluid. Outside, we have the subarachnoid spaces and the cistern. They behave in one way. Inside the uh, brain, you have the brain interstitial fluid or extracellular fluid and the glymphatic system. And then the third compartment are uh, intraventricular. So we work on that differently. Then we have to work with the cortex, gray matter, six layer cortex, three layer cortex, 5% of the brain is three layered cortex and the cerebellum. And then you have gray matter as a nuclei. So we work on the hippocampus, the amygdala, the glostrum, the insula of real, the thalamus, the, you know, all the different nuclei that could be primary lesions. And then we work all the different type of white matter, and then we go smaller. Sometimes we work for neurons or is that a microglia? Is that an astrocyte or the neurotransmitter more serotonin, acetylcholine, dopamine. So we work on all the structure we can, including the electromagnetic magnetic fluid of the brain, which is quite important. And sometimes in the brain is very uh, open and easy to work with emotion, belief system, et cetera. So we have quite a complete curriculum with the brain. We just don't stay on the uh, bones and membrane at the early um, uh, cranial therapist. And we um, are going to um, do classes like classes on neonatal reflexes or uh, a class on the cranial techniques, but with a little original twist we, um, we don't show the cranial rhythm. You have to learn that in a different uh, curricula. We work on BCRB, brain, cranial rhythm, and bone marrow. We use the bone marrow as a master to uh, modify the cranial rhythm. And we also use a uh, slow lemnis gate. So just give you an example of the numerous classes we have to open to numerous applications including closed head injury, trauma from a sport trauma or, or, or car accident or from the war, soldier coming back from Iraq, or we can work on meningitis, on cerebral palsy, autism, um, et cetera, et cetera. So this is an overview of this curriculum and people are quite happy with it. It's push your skills, refine your skills to work uh, inside the cranium. And people love this curriculum because it's quite refined and they have uh, a lot of success with it. So I hope you'll uh, appreciate it also.